James Carreras was so clever, he got the best people he could in all departments, the best cameraman, the best makeup, the best set designer, and pretty jolly good all-round cast, and it paid off. In May 1986, the day after the royal premiere of Biggles, producer Richard Edwards recorded an extended radio interview with Peter Cushing. I was lucky enough, I think only because one's got sort of aquilineish features, you know, and, that, and that, that I think helps if you look a little like the candidate that the people expect you to be. I really don't believe this, that I'm actually standing on a set, you know, with Peter Cushing, and, and he looked so, so frightening. And he was the complete opposite. He was the most gentle man. He loved his art, he loved the work, he loved acting. He got a little bit frustrated, I think, with filmmaking because it, wasn't, it didn't flow in the way that he could flow on stage. He was so lovely, he was so kind, and he was so particularly considerate with me because I had this burning scene and also I had to be thrown on the floor in front of him. I didn't really care for the, the, the Doctor Who television series. They were my cups of tea, and I must say the Daleks did rather get on my nerves. But they were for children, you see. That's why any modern Star Wars, they, all the old uh, chippies and grips and electricians used to come and say, yeah, what's all this about, Peter? I don't understand it. He was a wonderful actor, one of the finest I've ever seen. But as a person, not just as an actor, he was unique. People had great respect for him. Yeah. You know, the unit would, would you know, if, if any of the assistant directors, yeah, sir, you know, can you do this, sir? There'd, there'd be sir there. <clears throat> yes, OK, dear boy. I came to work with him specifically in Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, of course. I was joyfully anticipating uh, being with him for a long time. Well, I was thrilled when I was cast into a dual-starring role in Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, playing an evil queen called Queen Terra and a modern girl, Margaret Fuchs. But even more thrills when I heard that Peter Cushing was going to be playing my father because he's was and is the master of horror. I think when she died, it killed him inside. He was very honest to me and he said, well, frankly, I'm just waiting to die. I want to be with Helen. In 1986, I got this letter from Peter. I couldn't believe it, really. It was just most amazing. Special man. Mm. 